everybody, and welcome back to the Blind LP of Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, so today we're gonna do Chapter 16, and it looks like uh, it looks like this one's gonna be pretty fun uh, because they just said, "Oh, they they're bringing like a really big weapon to Rangries." So let's. I'm guessing they're gonna show it, and that looks like a really big weapon. in Wildwood is but a tender flower patch before the Marmota. Your Grace, a massive explosion was reported at the Citadel at Girlandio, sir. Our rear guard and Galia's primary force were both caught in the blast and obliterated. I see. Then Selvaria has performed her duty. Now nothing remains to stay our hand. Continue the march to the Gallian capital. It seems rather waste that he would use a Valkyria like that, like as a suicide bomb to take out like one base. Cause like even if they can't capture Galia, they still have the uh, Federation or whatnot on the other side that they'll probably have to wage war with. So you would think that they would want to keep that kind of war power that is apparently like very rare uh, on hand. Cause like if they used her more like a Instead of like a vanguard, like of a he like of a large army and more like a strike force, she would be able to single-handedly take down bases and whatnot, just based on the power she has, even without uh, using her Valkyria power. Like they don't use her in the best way, but Maximilian is not the smartest commander. The Empire's ultimate weapon passed unhindered through the thick of Cloden's woods said to be impenetrable to all but bird and beast, and continued its juggernaut march north towards the gates of Castle Randgrace. Leaving the former site of the Citadel at Girlendio behind, the militia raced to the capital's southern gates to intercept it. Everyone, we've received intelligence on the weapon coming through Cloden's forest. The report identifies it as one of their most tightly guarded development projects. It closely matches plans for a terrestrial dreadnought, Marmota. It's heavily armored and carries a host of large caliber cannons. A battleship on legs. Leave it to the imps. It's one ridiculous tank after the other from these people. Furthermore, it is likely that Maximilian is aboard the Marmota in person. Are you serious? How do you get there so quickly? Regardless. We need to stop that thing, or the capital will be in danger. Oh sure, just gotta stop it. It's a battleship, boss. How are we gonna stop it? We'll be cooperating with the Randgrees Royal Guard in effecting Operation Maiden's Shield. Our job is to lure the Marmota into a canyon the Guard has lined with mines. Beyond the mines, they'll be concentrating all of their firepower to stop it. Leading it into a minefield. So we're the bait. Unfortunately, yes. With Galia's army vaporized, this plan is our only real option. Once they get out on open land, there's no stopping them. It has to happen in that gully. A land dreadnought. I still can't even imagine. Vulcan. Alicia, what's wrong? You look kind of down. It's nothing. I'm fine. Now let's go beat us up a battleship. Alicia. Cordelia stand. So this is one about the queen, probably like Prime Minister saying, Oh, we should probably surrender. Or something like that. Highness, the Empire's dreadnought approaches at great speed. Thank you. 
The Royal Guard and Militia were deployed in a tandem operation, but the outlook is grim. We understand. We shall join them on the field. Fetch here the Royal Armament and tell the Castle Guard to assemble outside. Your Highness, where do you intend to go? I cannot idly sit atop a throne while the nation crumbles around me. It is the office of the Archduke's duty to fight for the safety of its people. Ah, yes, but that would be inconvenient, Highness. I ask you, make no foolish choices. Lord, what is the meaning of this? You are a precious bargaining chip, allow. It would not do to allow you to continue. Bargaining chip? You plan to sell our nation to the Empire then? Perish the thought, dear prince. Galia is about to be reborn, a new child, as a glorious kingdom with me as its king. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna die at some point. <laughs> and I hope I get to shoot him. <laughs> okay, so this one is diverting the Mermuda. So that's save, so I don't have to go through that again. God, I saved so many times through out that shit battle. I, I do want to apologize for the sour mood I was in the last episode. I was... I, I was not happy. Like, that that one battle really pissed me off. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, so this episode I'm going to try and, like, stay positive and try and keep a smile on my face as much as possible. Although, I don't have a face cam, so... I could be frowning while I say this. Ha 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 ha. No, but seriously, I want to be happy. <laughs> okay, so Squad 7 will begin operation from the north. Momoto approach from the north end of the area, advancing southward at every turn. You head along this route, trying to direct its path. Your mission is to lead it to this location where the Rangri's Royal Guard and a, full, and a field full of mines await it. I repeat, your objective is to lure the Momoto to the specified destination. Anyone or anything caught in this path or his advance will be out instantly. You'll have no chance to call for a medic. Plan your tactics carefully. I know you can do this without any casualties, Lieutenant. Okay. Okay, eight people. And they're going to be moving fast. So... Ugh. Like, I... I'm debating, because... Rosie and... Uh, Largo, they can't die. They have essentially plot armor. Like, they can't be taken out. And because we're trying to lure it, I feel like I want high movement pieces. Uh, and I'll take... Uh, I'll take one engineer. Like, I want high movement pieces because I need to move far fast and Alicia, Rosie, and Largo, and Zaka, even if they're taken out, they don't perma-die. They just get... they retreat. So I'm less concerned about losing them. It'd be nice to uh, go throughout this without any casualties, but... Wait, I, why are you telling me that? Like, I'm just luring them to a place. We have to divert that monster away from the Oh castle. god, it's right there. Squad 7, move out. I wonder if there's an achievement for beating a mission without deploying like the full amount of people. There has to be, right? So that's it, huh? They weren't kidding with that battleship stuff. Remember, our mission's just to lead it along. Avoid combat where you can. And don't forget to keep your distance. Get run over by that thing, and it's all over. Okay. So, that's the ship. Um, it's coming along the path. And I need to get it to here, I'm guessing. Uh, and it seems like there's only one trooper. So, first things first. Let's... God, 
but there's so much distance. Enemy sighted. Stay sharp out there. Focus. Oh my god. Good job, Alicia. Okay. So... Yeah, I'm trying to lead it down this way. And then at the end of that. Um... Okay, I got it. I'll dodge everything you throw at me. I feel like almost this battle might have been better to not deploy, like, Rosie and Largo. Because they, they give me two extra moves, which is essentially one tank move. of the amount of, like, distance I have to go. Uh, okay, so the red is saying out of bounds, not, uh, like, alternate path. That's, that's good to know. Okay, so, now we Ted. And the worst part is, I don't think I'm gonna be able to, I don't think I'm gonna be able to dodge the, uh, the Marmota by, like, putting Largo and Rosie to, like, the left. Although, I may be able to dodge them if I, uh... Good. Because I want to take out as many people as possible as I get to them. So, I'm thinking it's going to head this way. Uh... And... Maybe it's possible if I'm able to get Rosie and Largo, like, over here. Like, maybe this could be the safe point. I'm not sure, though. Still very... Okay. It's not even letting me fire at this thing. So, what I'm actually gonna do is. I'm not sure if that thing can attack. So, I'm gonna. I'm gonna smoke around, like, up here. Because I'm gonna get it back. And I'm guessing the Marmota's movement ability is only. Like, is, like, a little bit worse than. Uh, than a than the Edelweiss's movement. What's your situation? And the reason I say that is because one of the losing uh, conditions is that Welkin specifically dies, and he dies if. There's no damage to be done. And if Welkin can't move out of the way, then what would be the point? That's why I would venture a guess that the Adivice is able to move slightly further than the Marmota. Okay. I'm just moving these guys up, because if I'm able to get them into safety, that would be the best. Don't know what that is. The Ragnacrates. So maybe... Maybe those are the mines that they're talking about? And the reason I'm not saving is because if I do have to retry this battle, I'm not going to use... Uh, I'm, I probably won't use Rosie and Largo and actually just leave their uh, their spots open due to because both of them essentially give a turn to move themselves whereas there are already enough existing turns for everyone else to move 
So that's that's my idea of this. If if that's clear. And as of right now, okay. setting them off also get caught in the rock slide? They're shock sensitive time bombs. Once you arm them with a shot, there's still time. Shoot them, then pull out before they go off. Their range is wide though, so be careful. Okay. So there's a Ragnar crate, like right there. And it only moves a little bit each turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm immediately going to pull Largo up some. Medic, medic. And I know he's right in the blast. At least it gives me an idea of the blast range. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm also going to pull Rosie up immediately. So the uh, oh, I never never looked at it actually. Okay, I'm gonna pull Rosie up because her movement is good enough to. Uh, forward fast. Um, now I can move the Edelweiss uh, out of range. So. Uh, I don't see anyone. Okay. I think I need to take these out like right now. I'm not sure. I don't remember if these get taken out by... Okay, so they do. That's good. And now, another move I want to take is get the shamrock out of there. Okay. You just, you just don't like the grass, do you? <laughs> shamrock. I don't think gunshots detonate stuff. Fire. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they detonate mines, which kind of sucks, because that makes uh, engineers much more vital. So I'm gonna move Largo again to get him out of the artillery range, and then hopefully he'll actually be like safe over here. If not, then oh well. But it's supposed to come down through here. So I don't believe having anyone here will essentially lower it. But now I need to move Carl. Because because of those mines, I need an engineer to run in and disarm them. Of course, I'm not sure how the enemy is like positioned. I'm not too worried about it. Unfortunately, I cannot hit that, uh, whatchamacallit yet. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get Alicia, move her up. Because I plan on just having, like, for the most part, the tanks be, like, the last ones to detonate those. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to be able to do anything. Uh, 
without Carl. So I'm actually going to take another turn for Carl to start getting rid of these. Or at least the ones directly in the path. Because these small ones, I don't believe, are going to do damage to the tanks. But, uh, I do need some of these to go away so my foot soldiers can get through. And even if I end the turn here, I don't believe it's dangerous. And I need to get rid of these tank mines. So that, uh, the tanks don't just lose all their treads while going through. Uh, and now what I want to try is I want to see if a grenade will set off the mine. They don't. Okay. So that, that one was just exploration, see what happened. The next phase is going to start with the, uh, start with, um, Carl going through and trying to get rid of all of them. Oh, shit. Damn it, Carl. Fuck. So dark. Damn it, he was so, that trooper. Ugh. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That's actually, like, really bad. Because, one, there's no place for me to, uh, call in support. And there's no, uh, uh I'm not going to be able to revive him. Okay. So... The way I understand it, the landslides are just basically a marker of they can only proceed to here. They've stopped in front of the rock slide. Okay. Great, it worked. That should buy us some time. Okay. So now they have to push through. And now, unfortunately, there's no place for. This tank to go. This is for you, Ace. We've got to divert that thing. Gotta love nature. Okay, so what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and. Because I believe I can sneak through this part right there. Okay. It's completely a mess. That's fine. So, uh. Right now it's thundering outside, if you hear any noise, I apologize. Okay. Okay. So... Carl has been safely evacuated. These don't go off to ground troopers. He was so close to death, too. He just needed, like, one more shot, or one lucky shot, to get through. Okay. Um. Gonna run through here. Trooper. Sh uh, and that's a sniper. So, I'm gonna end there. No bases to claim, which kind of sucks. Um, I'm on it. I need to push up with my people. God. Just gutsy running through a minefield. <laughs> Uh, oh, I should have tried to, uh, grenade this thing. Uh, I'll try with, uh, 
I'll try it with Ted. Because I think... Rock, I think, like, anything explosive is capable of destroying these. Of the like, iron crossbars, I'm not... They're just, like, really big caltrops. I'm not sure what their actual name is. I see them a lot in movies, but... Yeah, the barricade. Okay, good, it does. Now, the dangerous thing is, I don't have anything to repair... Like, there's no way for me to, I didn't realize how critical a, uh, a, whatchamacallit would be. So, what might actually happen is I might have to try and, like, get to the end as fast as possible. I'm not sure what the winning conditions are. Objective, Marmota reaches the, okay, so I can't even bum rush him. I have to wait until the Marmota hits here. Um, and I can't lose anyone uh, in the process. Although I lost Carl, which kind of sucks. Because the tiny ones... Because the tiny, the tiny ones, I believe, don't do damage, or they do very minimal damage to tanks. Leave it to me. So, what I'm actually gonna do is I might use the uh, the shamrock as a uh, as like a prep. Like to try and uh, open up the field a little bit more. Leave it to me. I'll use these two turns. that they fired. Sir, the Marmota is on the move again. That was fast. Everybody, stay sharp out there. Okay. So each landslide prevents it from moving for one turn. Um Sir, there's a fork in the gully. The straight path leads away from our target. We need to make them turn. In that case, why not use the explosives on the straight path to block it with debris? Right. Good plan. Let's give it a try. Okay. So, good thing I have... Uh... What's his face there? Uh... Argo. So... stay safe there. Uh, but I do want to blow up the second one. Because I believe that's the intent. Uh, can I go through here? No. You're just giving me a window. Thanks. Very, very useful. I'm not even sure that's safe. <laughs> Where is he? Okay, so he's safe from that. Um, let's use the shamrock to 
clear out some more of these. From that distance, I wasn't expecting much. Um, but those seem to be the only enemies. So now, time to move the Edelweiss. So I'm going to try and also avoid the, uh, the big landmines. Okay. actually going to do after this is, er, where are the, okay, so there's one more there, um, uh, next turn I'll probably have to move Largo and I'll hit this one with his last remaining lance, or does he have any lances left? One, he has one shot left. So, I'm gonna use Alicia now, and I'm gonna go try and take out the Shock Trooper and the Sniper. Because the Shock Trooper can do a lot of damage in terms of just direct. Because the shock trooper can do a lot of damage to me just in general, and the sniper can take out my people very quickly. Like the lancer is also dangerous, and if I was smart, I probably would have tried to crossfire him to try and get them both out. But uh, I would rather just get uh, get her out of the way. Okay. And because I can sort of tell uh, what is supposed to happen with this, and I'm supposed to probably try and block out this next fork, I'm gonna preemptively destroy the Ragnite crates with Alicia. Because you can see the one up in the top and one right near Alicia in the half red. See, the interesting thing is, is that it's going along with the plan for the most part. Enemy course change confirmed. Like they're not just like, oh shit, maybe they are trying to lead us into a certain way. Looks like we made him turn. Okay, let's keep guiding that thing home. Okay, so that's there. Okay, so I need to move those guys. Without a doubt. And first things first, let's move head. Ted out of the I can see your punch line from a mile away. Out of this. Because now the only enemy unit they have is a Lancer. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him over here. And 
that would be way too much of a pot shot. So I'm just gonna kill this. That way at least she doesn't have to use two turns. Might as well just use one turn where everything is already done. Yeah. And then I'm going to... So what I'm really hoping is this doesn't, like, fuck me over. Uh, okay. So, gonna... Go over here. The way I see it, it's probably gonna be like, oh, we have to lead it here, but our people have to end, like, over here. So I'm gonna... move her over here outside of the landslide, but still facing that direction. Okay. So, now this is completely blocked off, and I'm really hoping we didn't have to, like, end here, but I would imagine they would just game over me if that was the path that had to be taken. Okay. Oh, my. Hello there, sir. Ah, oh, okay, cool. So now I have more. Uh. Okay, so that's gonna block them from shooting at me for a little bit. Or block their movement for a little bit. Uh, I'm, gonna go. I'm gonna move the auto vice first because I need to be very careful with it. Just in that. I need to avoid hitting any of the big tank mines, which I successfully did. I'm proud of myself. Um, so let's... There's nothing else to shoot, I don't see. Um, other than that, so let's, let's take that anyway. Because you never know when you might need some more turns. And I'd rather just have Largo focus on moving through this area than trying to also avoid bullets in this area. And now I can move Rosie up. Um, and I'll be able to shoot that, too. It's basically just like, oh yeah, shoot every Ragnite crate you come across. Okay, and now I'm going to move Largo again because his AP isn't completely destroyed right now. See, this is a kind of mission where I like it. Not because it's a good mission or anything, but because it's different than every other mission up to this point. And it's not absurdly stupid. Okay. So I'm gonna move the Edelweiss, or... Okay, uh, do I have any orders? I, awaken I did get Awaken All, which is decent. Es essentially since Awaken Potential for one is two. So might as well, like, oh, if I'm going to do it on one person this time, might as well put it on everyone this turn. Especially because that would also, I believe that would proc on, like, every Lancer, every Sniper I have. I'm glad I didn't, I'm glad I didn't have the mentality of, like, maybe I have to, like, kill the, maybe I can also, like, kill the tank or something and put out Snipers. That would have been terrible. Uh, I wish there was a remove mine. Uh... Uh, I'm going to not save. I don't want to save. I'm going to end here, save those three turns, uh, so just in case I need them. Yeah, we're a lot of landslides happening now. completely changed the back map. Okay. Oh wow, he's aiming for Ted. Unfortunately, he's out of Ted's, uh, like, range. 
Oh my god. I would, I would hate to be Ted in this moment, where it's just like, oh yeah, look at this dude firing massive explosive lances at me. <laughs> and that one, like, the one prior to that shot, like, almost winged him. But now the lancer's out of ammo, and didn't fire at a single, uh... God, those buildings are tough. Didn't fire at a single, uh... Uh, tank. Okay. So now the Marmoto stopped for a turn, and it does not, like, this mission isn't hard. Uh, I'm guessing the way to get an A rank on this one is to not, like, is to use very high movement units and not, uh, like, hit any of the Ragnite crates. Like, be so much on the up and up in terms of, like, knowing where to go and. Uh, knowing what to hit, like hitting the uh, the two necessary Ragnite crates, like early, proccing that, and then uh, also just taking out everybody and not uh, not interfering with the Marmota's path. Because. Okay, so now I'm gonna move the Edovice, and I can see that there's a tiny gap there. I'm guessing that's where my team needs to end, and uh, kind of sucks because I can see the the treads, the the uh, mines. But now I'm not too worried. So uh, he's out of ammo. This is a basic. This is a, essentially a useless unit. I don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, I'm gonna take the shamrock and move it. Try and get it into a position like over here. Um, oh. Okay. What I'm basically just trying to do is get everyone out of the way. Of course, I don't have to worry about the foot units. I'm just using Melville to uh, come take out this Lancer because I don't want him wasting turns, essentially. Uh, I don't want him to just be like procking, just moving around for no reason. So now I'm just trying to get everyone in this little outlet so I can imagine what the next, like, story thing will be. We're just like, okay, like, now everyone has to move. Like, we need to block off this path and make sure we're not in the way of the Marmota. Because that, that's one of the things that I was, I was confused on. I was like, well, if we have to lead them there, don't we have to be in the path and isn't, gonna, isn't it going to crush us immediately? Like, afterwards? No, apparently not. I'm just going to... Luckily, there's foot path or foot soldier paths on either side of this. Now, getting the tanks inside of here that are going to be the annoying part, simply because uh, uh, simply because those mines that I wish I still had Carl here for, but uh, got got take the hits really. Uh, he almost survived too. Like the dude was at five health. 5 health, and it makes me think, like, man, if only I wanted to, like, break the game even more, I could have, uh, uh, I'll just wait to move the Edovice again. Uh, and I did end last turn with 3 as well. Um, but there's no reason, because now, these guys are essentially safe. I don't have to move them. I have to move the Shamrock. I'm gonna move him right now. Because I need to not hit any of the mines. Oh god, this tank turns so much better. I'm just gonna parallel park right here. Now I'm gonna end because moving with any other people is a, essentially a waste of AP because they don't have the full bar. Uh, and now they have all the moves, but they have no people. So their turns are essentially gonna be artillery, artillery, which I will have to move people out of the way to dodge. But then it's just Marmota movement. And it still hasn't even crossed the first 
like it just hit the minefield or the like first wall going into the minefield place essentially where the artillery was so yeah it just crossed here uh, it still has to get through the remaining uh, rock slides I'm not gonna destroy that one because as of right now I'd say I'm pretty confident in terms of uh, essentially being finished and uh, I'd say I almost went a little bit rock slide happy because now uh, they're just gonna have turns of uh, turns of what do I want to say of just moving the Marmota or waiting okay see that's that right there is really good game design because they take into account well what if they didn't bring an engineer I'm sure there was some path through this like through all of this where maybe the tank only had to take like one mine like having an engineer was not a necessary thing it, it helped a lot but it was not necessary and that's one of the best things about games like this and their design where they take into consideration you have multiple units and unit types you aren't sure what the battle you're going into is and while you may restart that would leave like a nasty taste in your mouth where they essentially made it impossible with a certain alignment of units like if you want to use five lancers use five lancers it's not a smart decision but as one of the slowest units moving uh, the lancers still move farther capable are capable of moving farther than the marmota is able to move and if you hold it back in terms of like movement if you do the rock slides then you have even more time it's very good game design that they didn't make the movement of the marmota so obscenely fast that you would not be able to do it if you had like uh, certain characters I'm gonna move Ted or Melville in just because I'm not sure where like the safety point is so I'm gonna move him like here his gun his, gu his gun is moving away <laughs> his gun wants to leave the battlefield uh, okay so now we just end phase so I do really like this because this map is <laughs> I feel like this map was almost made to be a victory lap because you just did want like you just did the hardest battle in the game like base game I'm not counting uh, like skirmishes or whatnot which still weren't like the DLC skirmishes weren't hard they were essentially designed for you to go through them from like easiest to last while upgrading your units with those with the XP you get and the weapons you get they were designed to be sequentially harder while also being uh, more prepared each time so like the battle against Savaria was without a doubt the hardest in the game so far like harder than the super tank not this not this super tank but like the one with like the three batteries you had to kill where you first meet Savaria in battle uh, without a doubt easier that or harder than that this was like that was like easily I don't want to say the first real challenge because there have been some challenging maps and every map like, there's no map that I would consider it, like easy as hell there's no map like that uh, for like a normal character at the time like I can I can guarantee like I would have pulled my hair out uh, against Silvaria if uh, if I had to do that map with the intended weapons, because because this is a PC release, uh, it has added stuff. Uh, I'm not sure if it was added in a different version and then that version was ported, or if they just added stuff for the PC release. But the this game has the DLC, and some of the weapons were not originally in this game. Like, the tank sniper rifle wasn't in it. I'm not sure if the car 8 and car 9 were in it. They may have been. 
but having those weapons makes the game Sir, a lot easier. I've already taken care of it, Alicia. Let's block their course with a rock slide like before. I already did it. We're not far from the Royal Guards minefield now. Hang in there, Sevens. Dude, don't worry about it. I've already I've already taken care of it. <laughs> Literally, like <laughs> I, I do wish that was like, oh yeah, like that like if you did something, like I wish they would like chime in with like, yeah, that was a good idea. I'm glad you like I'm glad you're thinking ahead. But like, the DLC was designed in such a way where they make the base game easier, but not a cakewalk. And Savaria is almost like a check to that. Like, oh yeah, you've been having an easy time up to this point with like being able to like headshot people like from super far away, just take them out and whatnot. Uh, undercover, just run up, pipe them. You're all level 20 and whatnot. Uh, Savaria is like, you are not invincible. Like, I am the strongest character in this game. You are not going to beat me. Okay, cool. So they didn't even get to the edge. They even have another turn getting to the edge. Operation complete. We managed to lead the dreadnought here. Okay, yeah, so we got rank D at 11 turns. So I'm guessing, and with the amount of uh, rock slides that I made, that elongated it quite a bit. So I guarantee that the way to get A rank in this mission is to just use, like, engineers and... engineers and, uh... scouts? Hell, you might even not need scouts, depending. Because if you have, like, your engineers equipped good, they just run up, take out, like, all the mines along the way, and they're prob... and, uh... Engineers are only worse than scouts because their movement is slightly less and their aim is worse. So, like, you can definitely tell uh, where it's just like, okay, cool. Uh, that, that doesn't tell. Uh, you, like, you can definitely tell where the A rank comes from in this map. Whereas other ones are like, how could I have done it faster? <laughs> And they're just gonna drop that convenient out rock on it. Would you look at that? We're raining cannonballs on that thing, and it ain't flinching. And now it's pretty much clear of the gully. Well, boss, what's your plan? No wonder of nature up your sleeve to fix this one, Lieutenant. Hey. Is that a person out there? What are they thinking? I don't know. The wreath in blue fire? <laughs> She's going to attack that thing all by herself. That's insane! What does she think she can do against that juggernaut? Alicia! Wait a minute! Where are you going? I feel like it's not as insane as you want it to be. I shouldn't have just left. Not without saying goodbye. I've been thinking this whole time, Falcon. Wondering why I was born like I am. A Valkyria. If only I weren't a Valkyria, things would be just like they were before, wouldn't they? But no. That is one way. But I have found another. I know how I can give my life as a Valkyria meaning. I can use my power. I can stop this thing. I'll stoke my life fire into a blaze. I'll save you. I'll save Brule, my friends, and everyone else in Galia. That delivery was a little forced, where it's just like she rushed in at the end. Um. So I'm gonna save right here after that battle, which I did a lot less. Like, I didn't save at all for it. Um, we're gonna finish this chapter, and we're definitely gonna finish it this episode. I just need to go do one little thing. So, be back in a sec. And we're back. Okay. I just had to go to the bathroom, because unfortunately I was not thinking ahead when I sat down and started the episode. And at a point, it just was just like, okay, you know, I can't, I can't wait. Uh, mac and cheese and hot dogs does not agree with me, I guess, anymore as much as it did when I was a little kid. Or could have been something earlier. Uh, 
So Alicia is planning to do the, like, Valkyria nuke thing that Silvaria did, because that's, like, one of the things that she saw that they're able to do. I guess that's what they're planning. She wouldn't! Fool! What does she think to do? Sacrifice herself and take the Marmota down with her? Fine! 45 degrees to port! All ahead full! Now! <laughs> Alicia! Welcome! Why are you here? Leave! I'm destroying the Marmota! Only I can do it! I'm one life. My death could save a whole country! Alicia, you're wrong. You could destroy them with your power. But that's not real victory. Real victory is something we must claim for ourselves without relying on your power. I can't. Welcome. I can't. Valkyrian blood runs in my veins. I'm not human like you are. You're right. It's true that you have powers that we don't have. But so what? You're still yourself, Alicia. Kind. Bright. A future baker. Alicia, has any of that changed? You may be Valkyria, but you're still the same girl. Well, can I? You mean so much to me, Alicia. I will not let you come to harm. I will protect you. Alicia. I love you. Logan. Alicia. Once this war is finished, will you be with me? I would be with you. Together. Always. Yes, always. Okay, so I don't, I don't mean to be, like, the guy, but I was really expecting, like, someone to get shot there. <laughs> and if she's able to take her spear and just whip it through the Marmota, she could totally take it down without being, uh, without, um, having to kill herself. Because you can see in the introduction of the Marmota over here, uh, you could see the really big Ragnite thing, it's like you see on the tanks at the back. She would just need to run up behind them and then just kind of break them. Or just throw the spear through those and the Marmota would stop. <laughs> and I'm just like, come on. <laughs> really? Like, I see it and I see a better option, but no one in the story sees it. Damn. Oh well. Welcome. 
making me blush over here. But, uh, you sure that's wise? You know, this being a combat zone and all. Uh, hey! Just look at the happy couple. And I get the big scoop. My lord is not dead. That is. I would if it were anyone else. But for you two? Well, I'll keep my big mouth shut. Just this once, you hear? Alicia? Welcome back. Thank you. All of you. I missed you so. Um, you dropped this, boss. <laughs> so, welcome. We'll hear your orders. We go to hunt the Marmota. We'll head straight for Rangrees. All right, everyone. Let's get moving. Chapter 17. The Bridge to Hope. Okay. So, that was Chapter 16. Let's save. Uh, over that. And then... Uh, I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm gonna go into headquarters and, like, unlock any reports if there are any. Uh, try and get another order from the old guy. So... Uh, with that, uh, I bid you adieu. I hope you all have a very nice day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.